Hello, in this video I'm demonstrating how to play Bug Village on a Android device that is larger than 5.0. Um, originally this game was designed on devices that were 4.5, 4.7 screens and they just don't work on devices that are larger than um, 5.0. So what I've done is I found a way to get it to work on my 5.9 inch screen, which is my HTC uh, One Max. Um, I believe that this same um, process can work on a tablet, but I haven't been able to get it to work on my 10 inch screen um, tablet yet. Um, but there's a few components um, that are needed you're gonna need to download the application and then you're gonna need to um, open the application but just so that you see that if you open it on a bigger device and um, it's larger than a 5.0 screen um, it's gonna tell you that the download of the information failed and it's gonna say wrong size on server um, it's going to tell you to contact them so you can retry and retry and retry but it will not do it because it's um, recognizing that it's on a larger device so in order to get it to work you have to open the game once you get everything downloaded and situated you have to open the game in the window and then it's going to ask you whether you want to install the data on the internal memory or the SD card. Um, if you have a device with an SD card, by all means, you can put it on the SD card. If you don't, of course, it's going to be the internal memory. Um, the other thing is that um, in order for you to um, use the app at all, it's going to have to be opened. Um, in the window um, because what happens when it's not open in the window is it just um, gives you a uh, a blank screen um, on a larger device uh, the other option you have of course is to be able to um, download the data uh, along with the APK and then you can just um, put the data uh, files onto your data folder on your SD card or your internal memory and you don't have to worry about this um, install process that's also um, another option for you one is going to be the exposed installer application um, and so I guess it it needs to be said that this process will not work unless you are using a rooted device so you go into the exposed installer app and you have to go into your downloads um, the list is in alphabetical order so you scroll down until you get to the X's and you find X halo floating window uh, then you're going to need to download that um, and once you download that then your next move is going to need to be to go to the Play Store and um, you're going to need to get an application called Halo that accompanies um, the X Halo floating window um, you use these in conjunction with each other so you just type in Halo and it comes up and you then install the Halo app and what Halo does is it allows you to put your applications in your notification drawer like this um, and that is actually useful for um, what we're going to have to do with the game and from there you're going to need to um, go into your modules and uh, modules is actually where you turn them on and off 
so when you click them they're on if you unclick them you turn them off um, so here we have X Halo floating window clicked if you don't have it clicked you have to click it you're gonna open your Halo app once you open that you're gonna see the pin and the pause buttons at the top the list of applications won't be there when you first open it that comes once you begin to pin applications to um, within inside of the app so you select the pin and you go to the application you want in this case uh, we want bug village you select bug village is going to ask you do you want the default icon or a custom one I just chose the, def the default and then it's going to add it to your list of applications or it may be the only one listed in your notification so we scroll through and we see bug village okay after that you're gonna need to go back to your exposed installer application and you're going to need well, I guess you can just go to the X floating window and um, you're going to need to set up how you want to see the application react where the windows are located the size of the window um, is going to show here from top to bottom left to right the behavior how you want the window to act um, the mods here um, I long press for them to open normally and um, I quick press for them to open in a window you want to also make them resizable so you go here and you can make the window resizable um, because that can just be a helpful tool and then here you can set different colors and things of that nature for the window in order to be able to tell one window from the other when they're all when you have multiples opened up at the same time and how they behave and then you're going to need to restart which your phone not a hot reboot but a complete reboot of your device Now that we've located Bug Village, we're going to select Bug Village. And we have the option, of course, to open it normally. But with Bug Village, you don't want to open it normally because it won't function. You have to open it in the window, which is the whole purpose of why we're doing this. So you click it, and it begins to open the window. And this is what you have. Um, you get the glue startup. and it asks you do you want to log in you can or cannot log in I like to log in because logging into Facebook allows me to have my progress um, updated online so um, I don't lose anything if anything would have ever happened to my phone or um, God forbid anything ever happens to it I'll still keep everything that um, I have on my phone I'm logged in. I'm logging in. And it's loading. And it asks me, do I want to play? Press play. And ultimately what it's doing is loading the information that I have online to my phone. It takes about a minute as it's um, loading everything up, synchronizing. If you have um, a score that's different from what's online, it'll ask you do you want to keep the score you have or do you want to overwrite it. Um, if you don't, it'll just load it like it's doing right now and 
I mean, as you can see, um, the screen is a lot smaller um, in the window than it is to my phone. It's like half the size. But this is the size it needs to be in order for the game to be playable on my device. And so, um, this is how you play it. And the touch is a little off when you're, you know, having to touch the bugs, um, to kill the bugs, remove the bugs, or um, to collect. You have to kind of touch underneath them. Um, touching directly on them doesn't um, calculate, but everything else seems to be calibrated fine. And so um, this is how you play Bug Village on a screen that is larger than five inches and uh, I hope that this video helps someone thank you for watching bye bye